In this lecture on the types of drawing notes, I will introduce the viewer to the importance of drawing notes as a means of conveying engineering and manufacturing information not easily represented by drawing views or their dimensions. I will discuss where notes are generally placed on drawing sheets and you will learn the general classification and categories drawing notes fall into. Let's begin. Notes are either general and apply to all aspects and features of the part, or they are specific and apply to one dimension, feature, edge, etc. found on the part. Notes provide added instructions not found in the dimensions and text given in the title block. Notes convey instructions from engineers and draftsmen that are not easily conveyed otherwise. This is the same block we used in the video lecture that covered the size and location dimensions. By now, you should be able to identify this image as the 2D drawing views of our size and location block. It is generally considered good practice to keep the views and dimensions clear from the right-hand side of the drawing sheet, reserving this area for the placement of notes. Truth be known, industry will group and place their notes wherever there is unused open white space. However, for the assignments submitted in this class, make sure the notes are placed in this blue region illustrated here. Remember notes are grouped and numbered. Specific or special notes will always have a symbol around the note number. The number and symbol is placed on the view or views where the note is applied. This drawing from our size and location video has four added notes. The first note instructs the manufacturer to remove all burrs from the that were left from the manufacturing process. The second note instructs the manufacturer to check and break meaning file or scrape all sharp edges. The third note instructs the machinist to coat any machined surface so that it will not corrode. The final note is a special note that applies to the two 0.156 diameter holes. These holes must first be drilled and then reamed to a diameter no smaller than 0.153 and no larger than 0.159. Notice where the note number and symbol are placed on the full section view. As you can see from our example, notes cover a variety of different types of categories and instructions. This is also true of assembly drawing notes. This assembly drawing was created using the Siemens NX CAD system. Notice how the 3D pictorial view has been placed where we previously indicated was reserved for notes. Also, notice how the parts list or table is extending up into this same area. When creating notes on an assembly drawing, they are generally placed wherever the largest white space exists. Or a second drawing sheet is used for all notes. In this case, the upper left corner of the assembly drawing sheet had sufficient white space for the needed notes. Let's take a few minutes and discuss six categories or classifications that drawing notes can be grouped into. 
First, many notes deal with various aspects of dimensioning and tolerancing. Through the use of a specific note, an engineer or draftsman can apply special dimensioning, dimensional or tolerancing considerations. Second, notes can be used to specify setup instructions for manufacturing, inspection, and testing procedures. Third, engineers and draftsmen can use instructions to control the order of manufacturing operations. In this note example, the threaded holes must first be center drilled, then drilled, followed by a reaming procedure, and finally tapped. While more costly because of the multiple operations, the threaded holes will be more precisely located, shaped, and have more accurate, higher grade threads. Fourth, notes can be classified as finish or finishing instructions. These can deal with such things as application of painting, coating, polishing, etc. The fifth category contains notes that are related to how to set up or carry out inspection or testing. Occasionally, notes are placed on assembly drawings and provide instructions on how to assemble parts into a component or subassembly. From this brief lecture, you should be able to answer and discuss these three questions. Why are notes used on drawing sheets? Where are notes placed on drawing sheets? Can you name and give examples of each of the six classifications or categories of drawing notes?